Hello everyone and welcome to the Vita Box showroom here in Westbury. Today we're going to take a look at our entire setup here. First, let's start off with the equipment rack. We have here a HDMI image switcher, our Vita Box Room Client HD, some power conditioning equipment, along with our ADA Suite 8200 multi-room amplification system, a couple of cable boxes, and finally we have our rack server. For the video aspect, we have our LG TV that's been mounted into the wall. And for audio, we have a couple of in-ceiling speakers. And finally, for control, we have our Touch Client 12 in-wall panel, along with our VPad 8 here. If I want to make a change onto either one of the devices, let's just say if I want to change the theme, I can hit the Select Theme button, pick a different background, and once I see that it's been updated here, you also see that the change has also been reflected on the VPad 8 as well. Conversely, if I now take a look on my VPad 8 and make a change on here to go back to a different background, change can be carried out on the VPad 8 and then it's also reflected on the Touch Client 12 as well. So just to start off, let's say if I wanted to watch some TV, I can now hit onto either one of the any options that are on there. So just say now if I want to be able to look at my DVR and say Steve's DVR, once I click on that, the HDMI matrix switcher switches over to the appropriate inputs and now I see a complete remote control emulator on my uh, in-wall touchscreen. I can now control the volume to go back up or to go back down and in a couple of seconds I'll be able to see that the feed is coming onto my television as well. So say if I wanted to change my channels and things like that, this is all done via IR control. Let's just say if I wanted to access the IO programming guide, once I click on that, on the TV, the aisle menu will show up as well, and I'll be able to fully navigate through everything. And what's nice about this now is that I don't need to relearn any of the remotes that I've already been used to, so that now everything is just a matter of just clicking on the right button. So now anytime I want to be able to pause, play back, rewind, etc., and use my TV's PVR, I can just hit the pause button, and if I go back to the screen, I'll see that it's paused. And at the same time now, if I want to be able to resume playback again, I just hit play again, and now playback will just keep on going. At the same time, you'll also see that my multi-room audio system has been integrated into this. So let's just say now if I wanted to change the volume and to bump it back up, you'll see that the numbers change here, or if I can lower it, but at the same time, if I go onto my in-wall keypad here, you'll see that the change is reflected here as well. So if I raise it on here, up to 52, I'll see that the change is reflected on here as well. Or if I lower it back down to say 40, the change is reflected on here as well. I'm going to go back now onto a different volume set. So you see that there is now two-way feedback onto our complete control system. Now on top of all this, you could actually use this setup for satellite, Fios, or any of the set-top box devices such as a Voodoo, a VCR, a Roku player, etc. So let's just say now if I wanted to go back into room control and I want to be able to watch some movies or enjoy some of the music I can press now on my VitaBox system and then now just like before instead of another uh, complicated remote I have a simple v uh, VitaBox remote that is exactly the same as one of my standard you know VitaBox Media Center remotes complete with the green button up down left right arrows transport controls alphanumeric keys and everything so now let's just say if I want to be able to watch the movies just like from before, I can now navigate through my interface here by just pressing the up, down, left, right button. But what's nice about this interface though is that say if I want to watch movies, I don't have to use the up, down, left, right and then keep looking back and forth on the TV screen, which is actually pretty annoying if you think about it. If I want to just watch movies, just click on the My Movies button and then now be able to bring up any one of the cover arts here. So let's just say if I want to be able to watch um, Animatrix, I just click on that. The system now will be able to bring up the cover art along with the full plot synopsis and everything and be able to allow you to see all the movie details. And whenever I'm ready, I can just press on the watch button. Now if I take a look now back onto the VitaBox's TV feed, now you'll see that VitaBox will just come right up right then and there. And similar to before, I can also control my volume, bring it back down, and I'll be able to now navigate through everything as well. So for some of the features, for example, like music and pictures and things like that, I can do the same thing. Right now, this particular setup has been programmed so it could bring up the music for the VitaBox directly on the TV screen, so that when I press music, 
I see all my music cover arts on there. And just like before, I can now use my up, down, left, right arrows and be able now to navigate through things differently. So now on top of all of this stuff, I'll also be able now to turn off lights, do multi-zone audio and things like that. So just to let's just say uh, we want to do some um, you know lighting control, I can just press lighting. And right now I have a floor lamp that I'll be able to bring up and stuff like that. So that now I'll be able to control my lighting, I'll be able to take a look at my weather, things like that. I can power my different devices on and off, etc. So just say if I want to be able to control my lighting now, I have a Z-Wave switch connected on here and I have my ceiling lights so if I now just tap on the off button here I'll be able now to just shut off my lighting if I now tap the on button back my lighting will turn back on not only can I control the lighting in this particular zone say if I close out of this there's also a button here that allows me to select a different room I have my theater room here right next to me so that now if I want to be able to control the lighting in that room so to select lighting in that particular room that's going to theater and then now you'll notice that I'll be able now to go to the lighting and if I now just click on all on my lighting now will come right on if I click on all off my lighting now will just execute the commands and you'll be able to see it dim nice and slow so from here I'll also be able to control the AV switching of other devices in other rooms as well Say if I wanted to be able to do whole house music, I can just tap on that button. And you'll see that right now I have actually two of the three zones actually set up. My theater is actually offline right now. So what I can do is I can have three, six, nine, however many zones I want. And I'll be able to switch to different feeds back and forth. So now if I want to be able now, instead of listening to the room client HD, while all of this stuff is going on now on the TV, if I wanted to leave the TV on for some reason, but I want to play something else, I can now go and say pick iTunes on here. So once I pick iTunes, I can now go into details. And once I'm in the details page, I'll be able to see what music is playing right now. But right now nothing's playing. So I just let's say if I go to now select music, I can see all the different cover arts that are available to me. And I'll be able to browse through them and sort by artist, title, year, genre, show different um, navigation options, etc. Say so if I want to play a particular app. It's just easy as just selecting on it. And once that happens, let's say I can clear the current queue, press Q all, and then in a couple of seconds, the playback will start. And it's pretty much it. So now if I go back into details now, I'll actually be able to hear the music playing once I bump it back up a little bit. As you can now hear in the background. So at the same time, I can also do multi-room audio as well. So let's say if I turn on the office area, I can now have the office area play a second iTunes feed. And once again, I can go back into details and then say if I want to pick um, Barry White. Once again, let's just uh, clear the queue where it was playing. Cue the songs up. And then the music should now start coming up in the air. So now if I lower my volume, you'll actually hear it coming out of the office area. I can also control different aspects of home automation as well. So let's just say if I want to be able to control, say, my blinds and curtains, I have a particular setup here where everything is then just connected into a simple relay via Global Cache. I can now just go to Home Control, and I'll be able to see the different feeds I have available. If I press on Curtains now, I have a number of different controls. If I press Up, I'll be able to see the curtains come up. Conversely, now if I go back in here, if I press down, you see the curtains come back down. And if I want to stop, just press stop. So then now on top of all this, we'll be able now to also um, do everything from a tablet as well as I mentioned. So let's just say if I want to do that from this particular setup here, if I go back now and I want to be able to also control my other DVR, I'm going to press those same buttons again. My TV feed switches once again, and my, my speakers now will be able to play a different audio feed, and now I'll be able to watch something else. So, as I mentioned, everything is tightly integrated, so whether you have a mobile tablet that you want to be able to just pick up and walk around with, or if you want to be able to have an in-wall touchscreen that you want to be able to just work off of, VitaBox V Automation will be able to fulfill any of those needs. To learn more about VitaBox or our complete digital entertainment and control solutions, simply give us a call or visit our website at vitabox.com.